Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy JTL and this is another Red Pill. Respectfully, make sure y'all subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, so I saw this on uh, MTR, Mediocre Tutorial and Reviews, and also O'Shea Du Jackson um, YouTube channel. And I gotta say, MTR, man, you missed the mark. Shout out to your brother, but you missed the mark. I'm, I'm glad I watched O'Shea's version too because he, he picked up some things that I think you should have picked up on, my brother. So let's go ahead and get into this interview with the Essence interview with Ayana Fix My Life on the Instagram channel. Uh, back in 2013, I interviewed you when I worked with Madame Noir, uh, and we had, you know, a, a viral moment. We talked about black women and boundaries, and, and you said we were out of order. <laughs> it's still out of order. <laughs> look, you're not even going to let me set up the question. You said, well, tell me, you know, you said if we understood who we were, we would not let other people define us and confine us, and that you said we're demeaned, diminished, demoralized in ways we accomplish. Tell us why you say we're so out of order. Um, I think now because we get paid to be out of order now. Okay. <laughs> you know, um, some of the images that we allow to be portrayed of us, some of the ways that we behave and treat each other publicly. Yeah. Uh, and we've made a lot of progress. I, I, I want to look at the sweet spots also. I mean, we've got a woman of color in the White House. Yeah. We've got women of color in Congress everywhere. I think on the personal level, down on the ground, we still need to do some work. And I don't blame us. Mm -hmm. I just say that the way we've been conditioned. Okay, so that's the first thing MTR missed. She said, I don't blame us. And O'Shea was like, that's the problem, no accountability. That, that it, that's a huge problem. How do you say you don't blame us? And O'Shea brought out some great, great perspectives. He was talking about how can you say you don't blame us, but, you know, you had Lisa Ray on the show. She had some issues, and you told her she needed to, ke you know, check herself. But then you got the Queen co Queens of Cocktails or whatever that show with Vivica Fox, Selena Johnson, Claudia Jordan, Lisa Ray, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got all these sisters on this show. And if y'all go back and watch either my my version or you watch O'Shea's version or Kevin Samuel's version, we all pointed out the fact that, sadly, these sisters was going in on Ice Cube talking about he's choosing Trump. And he said, I never chose Trump. In fact, to me, they're all the same. And then what they did, no, no, you can't say that about white people. He was like, no, I'm talking about the presidents. Every president that came in, our situations are still the same in a lot of instances. Our situation with the wealth gap is still the same. And even with him saying all the way he said, go back and watch it. Watch the interview, then watch Kevin Samuels. Watch, uh, you know what I'm saying, O'Shea Du Jackson version. A couple of brothers made something from the manosphere about it. Even after all Cube said, at the end, Claudia Jordan still said, oh, you know, we, we ride with you, but we just not cool with who you're rocking with. And he like, I, I just told you once again, I'm not rocking with Trump. I wanted the Democrats to jump all over this when I put out the contract with Black of America, Black of, Black America. And they still didn't. And then their excuse, all the sisters, oh, well, we're not in power yet. And he was like, what does that matter? Presidential um, um, elects, um, not elects, but presidential uh, campaign runners make promises all the time. So if they make a promise and they don't keep it, the world gets to see that they lie. And he felt like that's why, basically, in, in my opinion, he felt like that's why they didn't talk to him. That's why they didn't make, you know, a promise that they would have to keep up in front of everybody. But then you see the sisters, oh, well, ain't nothing in there for, for, for black women. He's like, well, it's for black people. Don't they include black women? No. And he was like, all right, well, you know, y'all free to come through and help me write something. No, you need to write it. And he was like, okay, so I'm going to write something for black women. What, what what you want me to put in there? He was like, see, that's what I'm saying. That's my point. Don't nobody want to help me. They just want to go ahead and critique me and talk bad about me, but don't nobody want to help me. And I felt Q got in over his head, and it's sad. But you don't blame us. Y'all don't, you don't blame the women. No accountability. Let, let's, let's see what else she says. It shouldn't have programmed and educated. Um, doesn't a 
afford us the ability to really tap into and live fully who we are. And then we engage in bad behavior, just bad behavior. <laughs> now, what you said at the, at the time, I think he said something about Boo Boo with no paycheck, dealing with him crying and running by. Now, watch what she says about us brothers. You don't blame the sisters, but watch what she says about the brothers, though. You know, uh, and, and, you know, this is hard. It's hard because it's, um, I love us. Uh, and so I want to fully step into my role as an elder and be able to say things that you may not like, but you will at least respect. And I, the way we are moving in the world, it's time for us to close our legs. Close your legs, open your heart. Let's get clear. Now, at least she did say that to the sisters. I'll get her that. Before we keep making the same mistakes over and over and over. Because the men are, they're, they're, they're you know, they're trying to get themselves together. <laughs> and we are so far ahead of them, but we don't really occupy them. And so we keep getting in these transient relationships. Now, notice what she just said. They're so far ahead of us. Okay, if that's so true, then why are sisters also complaining about the pay wage gap? Why are our sisters still complaining that we making more money than them but not treating them right? If, we're, if they're so far ahead of us, you got to understand something. And I'm going to make a show about this. Black men are still out earning black women. Black men still have more businesses than black women. But they're so ahead of us. And she's not pointing out their attitudes towards us and the good brothers that are out there. This is the problem that we have. I try to have a lot of respect for Ayala, but it's like she still is saying the same thing a lot of other black women are saying. And yeah, we do have a lot of brothers that need to do better, but we got so many brothers that are. I was working for a program, my mentor, who, you know what I'm saying, taught me knowledge about working with at-risk youth and, and doing things in the community. A lot of these brothers don't get no respect. We're still just, oh, oh the black women just kicking our black man behind us and, and, and we're doing nothing. And it's like, that's not necessarily true. So this brother started a program incorporated sisters as well women too and brothers and we're dealing with at-risk youth you know teaching them about real estate uh instead of you know them just looking at the jury that they want to look fly and fresh we taught them how to make it hey you could be 15 16 years old shoot even 13 14 years old learning how to make all the fly jewelry that people buy our program was teaching these young brothers how to make jewelry instead of them going to spend thousands of dollars on it they can make thousands or hundreds of thousands maybe even millions of dollars selling making and selling the jury real estate trades getting scholarships this is something that was made by two brothers shout out to mr murphy shout out to mr harris two brothers one brother from new jersey one brother from georgia down here in St. Petersburg, Florida. But we don't get no love. Shout out to Mr. Brayboy. Brother owns like four different uh, businesses on one block. But we don't give them no love and no respect. But they're so ahead of us. Even though they do things and they implement it. Young brothers and young sisters. But they're so far ahead of us. So close your legs and open your heart. But what are you the money? That's that's what you boiled it down to? The money? No, sisters are not totally far ahead of brothers like that right now. We need to be healing and not worry about relationships like that, especially when it comes to money. But let me let them finish the rest up. Bringing children in when we're unprepared, they're unprepared. The number of children in foster care, the number of children in 
um, just difficult situations. And I know what it's like to start out and think everything's going to go well. And then a year, two years in, you're like, okay, what happened? Mm -hmm. So we've got to be a little more prepared on the front end so we don't have such difficulty on the black on the black end on the black <laughs> back end <laughs> right and you know i see that because i love us and i love children and i just want us i just want us to do better and be better well lastly you know i know you said you don't have to know what's next or you know anything all right so i'm gonna wrap this up ayala she's a black woman so i expect her to stand up for sisters this is why Brothers in the black manosphere, we've been making videos on this because a lot of us don't get it. No matter what we do or how good or how great we move along and move the culture forward, we're still getting the blunt of the blame. You saw what she said in the beginning. I don't blame us. But then when it comes to brothers, you say what? That, that we ain't got ourselves together. Women need to stop having babies with us because we're not ready. They're just not ready emotionally. That's it. No, they're not ready because the attitude wise also looking down on us. You let white zaddy make you think that you're better than us and separate us. She don't speak about that. She didn't speak about that. You didn't speak about the fact that that sisters, you know what I'm saying, are complaining so much. But you know what I'm saying? At least she said they're making the wrong choices. But to sit there, like she said, the lady right here, Brandy Victorian said, boo-boo with no paycheck. So that's all you're equating all black men to, and that's what ticks me off. She didn't say certain black men with no paychecks. She didn't say certain black men are not ready. Sisters not need to stop picking certain black men. No, she said black men. Oh, they're trying to get themselves together. That's it? All of us? Not all of us are in prison. Like Kevin Samuels always say, it's a lie. Not all brothers are in prison. So let's say the numbers are around, because I think it's like around 2 million people in prison now. Almost 800,000 brothers, seven, 800,000 brothers in prison. That's a lot. But what about the other 40 something black people that are men and women that are not in prison? What about the other tw uh, 19 million Brother, let's say it's 20 million brothers, 26 million sisters. What about the other 19 million brothers that ain't in prison? So you mean to tell me all 19 brothers ain't working? I'm working. I own my own business. My people's working. My brother's working. A lot of, a lot of brothers I know got their own businesses. They employ their own family. But you mean to tell me we're going to sit here and act like all brothers just trying to get their self together and there's no successful brother. All these, look at Master P, look at Dame Dash. They still entrepreneurs. They still independent workers. I mean, a business owners. My apologies. They still independent business owners. And they still have to explain their self to the community about what they've been saying since day one. P been talking about independence since day one. Dame Dash has been talking about independence since day one. And we still got to explain ourselves. It ain't the brothers, it's the sisters. It's a lot of the sisters who don't get it. Because the real sisters who get it are not always out there in the front. So like I always say, shout out to Pink Book Lessons. Shout out to Real Reality Talk, that sister. Shout out to Jessica X over there in the UK, that sister. You got sisters out there, a few, you know, Avery Woodland. You know what I'm saying? I said her name wrong last time. I apologize. But Avery uh, Woodland, you got sisters out there finally coming in to, to understanding and talking. Beautiful sisters that they look like, you know, the sisters that y'all might think is wrong, but they're not. They speaking truth and speaking up for us, but it's not enough. It, we need more sisters like this. So I'm always shout them out and more sisters to come to the light. God, well, I'm going to shout them out as well. But it sickens me that every time we turn around, it just, women is kicking, black women kicking black men behind, black men need to get their ass together, and, and sisters just, you know, be a little nicer. That's it. I'm glad she said, sisters, close your legs. I'm glad you said that. But stop being a B too.
Stop spouting off of the mouth. Stop putting your brothers down. Stop choosing a white man over your brothers and then want to put, put us down. Because a lot of us don't want to marry outside our race. Like me and my partner, we want our sisters. But they don't never give us no credit. So that's why we need the black red pill experience. Believe that. This your boy JT. Make sure y'all uh, go ahead, hit that notification bell. Well, subscribe, then hit the notification bell. Man, we gonna keep coming back, man. We on y'all heads. Y'all ain't gonna keep doing our brothers like that. Nah. We out here doing too much work for y'all to not acknowledge it. So we gonna acknowledge it. So shout out to all y'all brothers, man. Keep striving. Keep progressing.